Peggy 7. One of the coolest things about making games with Pixar right now is it's actually really collaborative. Mater, he's escaping! Dad, go! Gathering gun activated. We've had a great time coming up with our own ideas and our own take on the Cars universe. And I think it shows. The process between us and Avalanche was a very collaborative process. Pixar tells us the idea of the movie. Even before they have the movie developed at all, they say, here's the basic idea of the movie. And from there, we start to say, all right, what are the sort of things that we can utilize to make it a game? Let's run another simulation. Chrome originated here at Avalanche as a way to try and bring the video game world and the film world together. Chrome is the academy. You're the spy in training. We love the idea that there must be a school that Finn had maybe been to and trained or taught at. What was so fun about Chrome is that it allowed you to see these things that you normally wouldn't be able to see, and things we wouldn't have the luxury to do in the film. We never really got a chance at Pixar to tell that whole story. I think that was really the most fulfilling thing there, is to feel like we're actually contributing something back to the film world. So, you've discovered my secret headquarters. We actually had some game developers come here for a couple of days uh, very early on. Our animators would talk to our animators, and we really collaborate with them to try to make our game look as close as possible as the movie. We've made the movie, you guys make the game, and we'd love to see what you bring to the table. We have a certain thing about truth and materials. It is a real car, it is a real vehicle, it has to act like a car, and yet it has to have these attributes of a character, too. You call that racing? All the cars are living beings. They can jump, they can drive on two wheels, they can drive backwards. They can do all these things that regular cars can't. And from that comes a really fun system of gameplay. Dang boy, dudes! Part of the challenge that we had to do for the game is take our own environments outside of what the movie is. How do we imbue little shapes of cars in the trees and the mountains and the buildings so that it begins to feel like the universe that Pixar has created. Well, I think the technical term is carification. We look for opportunities to bring the car's aesthetic into the sets wherever possible. It's a lot finding natural forms or, or man-made forms. Things like the Buckingham Palace or Big Ben. And as we look at them, we go, wait a minute. That sort of has a shape like a car. Let's just take that a little bit further. You, you have to kind of look for it, and you get rewarded. If you do pay attention, you'll see a lot of neat stuff. You've seen the movie, you've seen the story. We maintain that, that authenticity. More characters, more places that you can go. But everything feels like a movie experience. More missions, more gadgets. It's a virtual playground. 